Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show y'all how I do Mississippi fried catfish. Let's get to cooking. So for this recipe, I'm starting with the best catfish in the world, Mississippi Pond Rays. Now I've had these fillets, they come frozen. I let them thaw out in the refrigerator overnight. Then I put them on a wire rack. I want them to start drying. Also gonna use a paper towel to get as much moisture as I can off of them. A drier filet is gonna be a crispier fish when we fry it. So I want my catfish thin and crispy. That's the Mississippi style. And you'll see these filets are pretty good size. These are like a five ounce catfish filet and they have a seam that runs right down the middle. If you battered the filet and fried it like this, you're gonna end up with thick fish. It's not gonna cook as good as it does when you cut it into strips. So I'm gonna take each filet and just take a knife and run it right down that seam. That creates two pieces of fish that's gonna fry up, it's gonna batter, it's gonna be nice and crispy and it's gonna cook fast. We're gonna lay these right back on our wire rack once we get them split into strips. Let's do that for all of them. Just find that seam, go right down it, creating two pieces of fish. These are beautiful fillets. You can see the color, a slight pink color. Skin's been completely removed and it's just pure Mississippi catfish. So now we got the fish on the rack. It's time to get some seasoning on it. This is starting the flavor process. I'm using some salt, pepper, garlic, my AP rub. And I'm not going super heavy with it. We're just gonna do a nice light coat on the back side of the fish first. And we're also gonna put a light layer of my King Craw Cajun seasoning. And it gets the same thing, not too heavy. We just want a light coat of the King Craw on it. If you got a favorite Cajun season, hey, Go right for it. You just want to get some spice on it. Now we're going to flip these fillets over and do the same thing to the back side. After the fish rests for a few minutes, it's time to get the batter going. All I've got is two cups of just plain cornmeal. Put it in a Ziploc bag. This makes it easy. You want to season that cornmeal too, so we're going to use the same thing we put on the fish. Just hit it with a little bit of AP and a little bit of that King Craw Cajun seasoning. We're going to zip it up, mix that up a little bit. I want my cornmeal seasoned. You notice I'm not putting anything wet on these fish. I want them dry because it's gonna make them crispy. The batter's gonna stick. I don't like thick battered fish. I want it to be crunchy, but I want the batter to be part of the fish, not a big caked on piece. And all I do is start dropping them right in our cornmeal. You can do four or five at a time. Just put them in, zip it back up, and toss it around till they're all covered. Super easy. Keeps down on the mess too. Now check it out. These fillets are coated extremely well. We've got that cornmeal batter all over the outside, but it's not thick. I still wanna let this dry out. So what I do is put them right back on the rack and they need about 10 or 15 minutes just sitting here at room temperature. Perfect time to fire that oil up. So I've had the fish drying for about 15 minutes just sitting right here on the rack while my little tabletop fryer comes up to temperature. If you're doing small batches of fish, this is the easy way to do it. I've got a little double basket full of peanut oil I'm bringing it up to about 375 degrees. You want to verify that with a thermometer. Even though it's got a thermostat on your fryer, check that oil because you want it to fry really fast, but you don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Now we're ready to fry. I can see the oil dancing around. I verified it was 375 degrees. All you want to do is just carefully lay that filet right in that hot oil. Drop it away from you. Immediately it's going to start frying. And you could use any kind of oil you want for frying. I love the taste of peanut oil. It gives that fried fish so much flavor. But if you want to use vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you want, it'll work. I'm not going to crowd the baskets on these. I'm just going to do about four pieces at a time, two in each basket. Now you can see that fish is starting to float. It's gotten golden brown. Frying process has slowed down. That tells me it is done. I know it's going to be crispy. I know it's going to be cooked through because it's thin. It's like to let it sit here and dry out. That peanut oil has done its job. It gives that fish great flavor, but it also holds that perfect fry temp. We're just going to dump it out on a little butcher paper, let it drain a little bit, fry the rest of these fillets. Now that we got all the catfish fillets fried up, hey, it's time to eat. And it's best when you serve it hot, right out of the grease. Let me show y'all how I eat it. We're gonna take one of these pieces, fresh fried Mississippi pond raised catfish. You gotta put a little hot sauce on it. Just drizzle it right down it. Now I've whipped up some homemade tartar sauce. Use a blue plate mayonnaise, some dill pickle relish, little chopped onion, little TX seasoning. That's going right on it. I'm also gonna squeeze on a little bit of lemon, just a little bit of juice right over the top. That's the perfect piece of fried Mississippi catfish. Mmm, mmm. It's hot, it's crispy, it's fried through and through, but you get all that flavor from the AP, from the King Craw Cajun seasoning. Creamy tartar sauce and a little bit of hot sauce and some lemon. That's perfect catfish. Now y'all, I serve this catfish just like this. You can serve it with some fries, some hush puppies, your favorite coleslaw, 
you got a southern fish fry right there ready to happen. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to that channel. Y'all know you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm going to do a fish sandwich for TikTok with this catfish. And Shell and I are going to talk about this Mississippi fried catfish on our weekly podcast and all the other delicious stuff we're doing. So y'all give that a listen too. We'll see you next time. Man, catfish done right. <laughs>